Hey everyone, Helena here with your shiny shove. I'm out walking the dogs and um, that just really got me to this one, which has been sitting in the background anyway. But, you know, we love learning and learning is really copying and choosing who to copy. So uh, my, my little shiny shove, you know, a prod, a push, a nudge in the right direction that allows you to have a fun time, don't mind me. Um, oh frisbee time um the 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 shiny shove really is about this who and how who do you copy and how often do you do so and the reason that this was really high lit for me just now was um i did the regular thing that one does when one has dogs i was a responsible dog owner and took my little baggie off to the uh proper bin that um that i should use and on the front of it was hanging a baggie which in my head made me make the following assumptions. One, I shouldn't move their baggie uh, because there's obviously a reason for it. Two, I'm assuming that the bin is full, so I will just hang my baggie on the front as well, even though it felt a bit weird. So there's something here about what we question, what we choose to question, and what we choose to actually leave well be and follow the examples of others. Now, it may or may not be that that bin is full, but I don't know for sure until I make my way back around there. So really, the shiny shove for you is, how often are you copying an action without even questioning that it's there or it's right for you, that it's right for the, um, the project that you're doing, everything along those lines? And the second part of that is, who are you choosing to copy? Is it actually copying something in line with who you be that's aligned to what you're actually up to? So that is my shiny shove for you. Uh, are you copying? And if you're copying, are you happy with who you're copying from and what you're copying? Many blessings. Take a, take a little kind of look at your day and I will catch you up tomorrow. Many blessings.